Hi everyone. This is video 6 for chapter 2. In this video, we will make some further comments to the optimization problem. So these are the comments on top of the previous comments we have made. I would like to say that there can be situations where there is no solution at all. If we focus our attention for problems with two variables that we have been studying, we actually will have the following four cases. It's case one, there is a unique optimal solution. In this case, the optimal solution is obtained at a vertex of your feasible region. And second, there are multiple optimal solutions, actually infinitely many. In this case, you will have two adjacent neighboring vertices that are optimal, and the edge connecting them, everything, every point on that is also an optimal point. And number three, we call that the problem is not feasible. That is, the feasible region is an empty set, meaning that there are no points anywhere that all the constraints will all be satisfied. And number four, there is a feasible region, but your solution is unbounded on it. Okay, so for um, point three and point four, each of them, we will see an example. Let's take a look at the example for three. That is, there's no solution. Consider the following minimization problem. We want to minimize x plus y, and we have the following constraint x plus y shall be bigger than 10, x plus y shall be less than 9, and x and y are both positive. Take a look at these three constraints. Can they be all satisfied? Well, you might have noticed that the first constraint and the second constraint are actually contradictory to each other. If the value x and plus y is bigger than 10, then it cannot be less than 9 at the same point. So the feasible region is actually an empty set. So no values of x and y will satisfy all the constraints. And therefore, there's no solution. Now let's look at an example to show the point number four. Let's say, again, we still want to maximize x plus y. That's the function. And then it's, it has to satisfy the following constraint. That is, x plus y shall be bigger than 10, and 2x plus y shall be bigger than 9, and both x and y shall be bigger than 0. So take a look at these three constraints, and okay, in particular the first two, and think about it. What values of x and y should you choose so that x plus y can be maximized? So we see that we can choose x bigger, and at the same time we can choose y bigger. The bigger the x and y value, the bigger will be this function f. And looking at the constraint, if x, y are bigger, both constraints will be satisfied if they're big enough. So we can say that when x goes to plus infinity and y goes to plus infinity, the function f will go to plus infinity. And in this case, the optimal value is unbounded. Okay, so um, that's the end of the video. So as we progress in this course, we will learn 
more and more details and more and more complicated situations and possibilities of this problem. Okay, see you next time.